Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's create this machine part in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. And to do this, first you go for new, part, solid, assign the proper name and say ok. Now to create this kind of part, the best way is always go for add material feature first and then you go for remove material feature. So I'll create add material feature first and then I will add remove material feature. And to do this, go for extrude. Right plane, normal, switch off the datum. Now draw the center line, line, just draw a rough profile like this, mirror it. Now create all required dimension. So I need this dimension, this dimension, this dimension. And this dimension. Now to modify all these dimensions, go to modify, start selecting all the dimensions one by one, uncheck this, drag it down and start modifying all the dimensions from here. So this is 12, this is 56, this is 15 and this is 6. Say OK. And your sketch is done. Now you say OK. Now go for symmetry. This is 75. And say OK. So my first feature is done. This one. Now the next feature I will create is this feature. And to create this feature, first you create a datum plane. Which has to be from this bottom surface. Move it up. The height is this one, 63, say ok. Switch on the datum, now I go for extrude, select this datum, normal, switch off the datum, go for reference, draw the circle somewhere here. Now the dimension from here till here, it is 100. And this is 36, say OK. Flip the direction, this is 25 and say OK. Now the next feature is this feature and for that you can either go for rib or you can go for extrude. So in my case I will go with extrude, switch on your datum, select this datum plane, normal, switch off the datum. Go to reference, click these references and this reference. Draw the line, start from here, come this side, here, here, come down and draw your sketch like this. Now this dimension is 36 and say ok. Go for symmetry, now the thickness is 12 and say ok. So your all add material features are done, now I will go with remove material feature. So again go for extrude, this surface normal, draw the circle, this die is 22. Say OK, remove material, flip the direction, through next, say OK. Now this feature, again go for extrude, select this surface, normal, draw the circle, switch on your datum, take a reference of this datum plane. Draw center line, mirror this circle using this center line. Now the dimension from this center to this center, this is 45 and this die is 12. Say OK. Flip the direction and say through next and say OK. And your part is done. 
Now, if you want to show these dimensions, the way it is given here, then you can go for annotate. And here, you can recreate all the dimensions using dimension. Or you can call model driven dimension using show annotation. Click on show annotation. Select the feature. Select the dimension required. Position it wherever you want. Now, if you want to create this dimension using dimension, then that is also possible. Now, in case you are creating this dimension, then you should understand this side. So, this is my right side. So, I will go for right and then I will go for dimension. And then I can place this dimension. Similarly, if you are trying to create this dimension, go for top and then go for dimension. Select this edge and place the dimension. Now, the same thing, if you want to add in your drawing, then that is also possible. Go to new, drawing, OK. Okay. First, you add your isometric view. And then go for file. Prepare drawing properties, change. And here, you type 3D. Allow 3D dimension, make it yes. Add changes, close, apply, close, and close. Now go for show model annotations. Select the feature and select the dimensions you need. Position these dimensions wherever you want. Now adding the material and for that go to view, appearance, select the material, select the part, select the part, edit the material, and say ok. One more time, this material. Go for surface, select this surface, this surface, this surface, this surface, this surface and this surface. And your part is done. So that's it from this video. Now you can like this video if you find this content helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.